Hey everybody, let me share with you uh, OneDrive, keeping track of your images. So it's real easy, just go to OneDrive.com, sign up for an account, and then on your smartphone, make sure you enable it as you download to turn on the camera roll. When you do, all of your images that you snap will get saved to the phone and to the cloud with OneDrive. So that's wonderful, so you don't have to worry about uh, camera loss because it's going to go automatically there. So here we have, um, we're recording this today, so these are some images I snapped earlier this morning. And I'll scroll down and you can see that it just generates um, a, an image per date. also has some uh, geographical data as well. Um, for example, if I were to click on this rainbow here, I can pull up uh, information about the, uh, the image, just discover location, um, and then camera information there. But if I wanted to like uh, go back and see all the pictures I took in 2008, I would need to be selecting one of the headers, like such, June 2015. That's going to then break it up into little uh, folders based on year and then month. And I can scroll down, and these are all the pictures that I've taken with my smartphones. Um, also, they could be, as I get further down, I mean, we didn't have smartphones back then, right? So way back then, all the way back 2003, these would just be pictures that I took and uploaded uh, to the OneDrive account using the upload button. So when I click on an icon, that just will show me all the pictures that were taken uh, during that time frame. Pretty neat. I can, if I want to, I can click through even further and uh, see the actual information related to that. For example, see the camera that was used to take that graphic uh, and uh, possibly um, information as well with the smartphones now, geographical data, GPS data, and so forth. Okay, back to uh, photos. Now, this is something cool. They're using uh, tags now. Click tags, and Microsoft is automatically creating tags based on certain certain subjects so forth so here's one for example says animal here's one that says text it actually can recognize text through some pictures that you take building people that's a and it tells you how many pictures there are per uh, folder there pretty neat okay so let me give you an example here I found one that's called field. Okay. So if I there's ten pictures in, I'm gonna just, I'm just curious. I'm gonna click through that and see what it found. Pretty cool, huh? So that's an example of a tag. Let's look at another one. Um, I'm gonna go down and find stadium. Yeah, so interesting that it's finding stadiums through that. And once again, you can click through and find out uh, when that occurred, the per properties of the picture as well. So should you ever want to create your own um, tag, click on an image, then you go in the lower right-hand side and click on the I, and that will allow you to create your own tag. So it's already has outdoor and stadium automatically tagged for us. Just type the name. And then I can search that later, and it's going to create a tag there. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is using OneDrive to connect your pictures automatically to the cloud, so that way you have backup storage capabilities.